Welcome back guys and today we're going to do a resin beach painting and to start we're just mixing our resin up follow the directions on the back of your resin of choice and mix in some acrylic some high flow some pigments glitter whatever colors you want just remember to use no more than 10 percent by volume and you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to thin now that we have our paints mixed we're just going to start on this painting and to begin with before putting the resin down i under painted on my canvas with just regular acrylic paint so i had kind of a guideline by which to follow and again i mixed my resin according to the instructions on the back of my particular resin and i added my favorite colors for a beach pour and I just begin by adding my mixed resin on top of my guidelines. And this is where you guys can get creative. You don't have to do straight across lines like me. It doesn't have to be an up and down beach pour. You don't even have to have sand in your pour. It can be all waves, just whatever you want. And so here I have my blues laid down and I like to use my gloved hand to kind of blend the colors in because I think it looks a little bit more natural. And remember though, the glove is super important. Don't do what I do later in the video where you take it off and use your bare hand because trust me, you don't want these chemicals on your hand. Now here, what I'm doing is pouring the white in the areas where I want to create some waves and I'm adding a blowtorch so you can start to see some lacing and it thins the resin and that's when I pick it up and move it and manipulate it and start seeing some of the bubbles or lacing effect in the white and I added a little bit more color in to make it look a little more natural and I keep torching and tilting and torching and tilting until I get it just how I like it. Now for those of you that haven't worked with resin, I think it's really important to note here that resin is incredibly sticky. It is permanent, it will stick to your floor, it will stick to your hands, it will stick to your clothes. So make sure whatever area you're working in, you have it completely covered and make sure that the clothes you're wearing you're okay ruining if you do get resin on it. And I also would remember to make sure you use uh, protection on not only your hands, but also wear a mask. Even if your resin is safe to use indoors, I always wear a mask because I personally am prone to headaches. And regardless of what resin I use, if I don't wear one, I end up with one the next day. So just remember to use all the safety precautions because this is nasty stuff to get out of areas that you didn't want it on. As you can see guys, this pour is starting to take shape. I added just a few more waves and a little bit of depth of color to make it really look like the ocean floor. And this is an area where you can really personalize it. You can choose what colors to add, how many waves you want, how much to torch it, how much to turn it. Um, so I'm gonna keep going like this and let you see the finished product. So make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and if you like this content, please hit subscribe.